Well, as we told you earlier, a new county survey found that the majority of people want to see a new convention center. Now, the questions that linger, where would it go and how much is it going to cost taxpayers? Well, new at 11 tonight, two on your sides, Leanne Stuff looks ahead. The results of that survey surprised the county executive. 86% of people who responded said something needs to be done with the convention center, perhaps building a new one. Considering how we sometimes are resistant to change in this community, I was a, was a little bit surprised it was so strong in favor, but uh, that's the result of the public response. So the next big question is, if we build a new one, where will it go? Late last year, a consulting firm hired by the county suggested two options. Replace and expand the current location on Franklin Street or build a new one near the waterfront. A new, brand new convention center uh, to be built in what would be considered more of a waterfront district in the area uh, on Perry Street and Scott Street uh, near the hockey arena. All right, but some people say there's a problem here. The survey did not give the public any idea of how much each option would cost. From what we know, both options could cost anywhere from 300 to $400 million, which is why some leaders say they don't believe the survey carries much weight, considering only around 600 people responded. If we spend half billion dollars on a new convention center, will we be seeing growth in the economy of half a billion dollars? Will we be seeing that many new conventions? I'm not sure about that. And there's no denying rumors are flying that a new Bill Stadium could be built downtown. So many people are saying, wouldn't it make sense for a new convention center to be near it? So we asked. Go talk to the Bills, Julie. I've talked to them. The only one who wants to talk about a new stadium is the media. Go talk to the Bills. That's my answer to that. So where do we go from here? More studies will be done, and a consultant is expected to be hired later this year to weigh all the options. Leon Stuck, Channel 2 News.